Greetings, radio people. Welcome back to Lamco Labs, deep in the bowels of LAN communications, where today there is much anticipation afoot because we have something very exciting to play with. Looking at the amateur market over the past years, it's quite clear from models like the 7300 and more recently the 9700 that ICOM have been making a fairly significant investment in our hobby. It's also clear that they're at the forefront of technology being the first to market of a true standalone SDR transceiver. So I'm very pleased to say that without any help from Radio Hams in Japan, for your delectation and delight, we have one of these to try out. The very latest offering from ICOM It's the IC705. And believe me, this is going to sell like the proverbial hot cakes. I'm sure you've already seen someone take it out of the box, but I'm going to plug it into an antenna and compare it with its close cousins, the IC7300 and also the 9700. We can then have a look at it side by side against its big brother, the 7610. The rig will run from batteries and when it's available to purchase, it will be supplied with the BP272 battery, which I believe is the same as the ID51 handheld. There'll be an option for a BP307, which is going to be a 3150 milliamp hour lithium ion high capacity battery. There's also strong rumours of an ICOM manufactured 705 stand and a matching ATU. And already we have down here sight of a super duper groovy ICOM rucksack. This very radio that I've got here will be on display at the Lamb showroom in Barnsley from Tuesday the 4th of August and anyone's welcome to go along and have a play with it. That is of course assuming that the boys can extract it back off me because I'd very much like to hang on to this. Anyway, enough of this waffle, let's take a look at this very exciting new rig. So when I plugged this in for the first time I simply went wow. The um, spectrum scope and screen quality is equally as good as the 7300 and the size of the rig is just incredible. The audio quality is also mind-blowing. Given the size of the rig, the audio is simply fantastic. There's a contest on at the moment, as usual, at a weekend. I'm currently looking at some signals on 40 meters. The rig operates very much as you'd expect, so it's, it's the same ergonomics as all of the more recent ICOM radios. So if you're able to drive a 7300 or a 9700, or the 7610 or any of the more recent ICOM radios you'll have no difficulty picking this up and running with it. It does exactly what you'd expect it to do when you press the buttons but one of the things that I'm delighted to see is that the CW pitch is included within the quick press button menu hits here and I'm very pleased to see that. The filters operate exactly as you'd expect so it goes from wide to a medium filter to a narrow filter. The menu button works exactly the same way and the rig is just, a, it's, it's simply beautiful and a joy to use. It's identical to uh, the 7300 really, the waterfall seems to be the same. All of the options are available, you can put it in the different modes, it's just great.
Plus GB3 VHF, um, which is on the southeast somewhere, Kent, I think. Um, I'm in Derbyshire, and um, the conditions are very poor today, but you can clearly hear the beacon. So that's the JT65 signal that the beacon transmits. You can see it on the waterfall. So that's the beacon on the 9700. That's using a masthead preamplifier. That's the 705.